Hi, Science Man here. I want to talk about a misconception today about exercising outside in the cold. I don't know where it got started, but uh, it's pretty weird. Some people think that you can freeze your lungs while you're running outdoors. Now, the short answer to that is no, no, no. You cannot freeze your lungs. It's, it's uh, impossible. And uh, one of the biggest clues is, have you ever heard of anybody being taken to a hospital with a frozen lung? Or have you ever, uh, you know, heard of somebody with frozen lung damage? That's because it doesn't happen. And uh, the reason is, is that your pharynx and sinuses are extremely efficient at uh, warming air as it comes into your, into, your, uh, into your body. So they've done tests with, uh, in the military with uh, soldiers breathing very rapidly with minus 50 degrees Celsius air and uh, they, they don't suffer lung damage. Uh, so I, I know myself, I've run four hour races in uh, minus 30 degree conditions, not pleasant. <laughs> and you have to dress properly. Uh, and one of the best things you can do is uh, wear something over your, your nose and mouth to just make it a little bit uh, easier on your sinuses and, and pharynx as it warms the air. But even if you don't take that protection, you can't freeze your lungs because as that air is brought into your, uh, into your, into your pharynx, your body is, is extremely efficient at warming it and hu humidifying it. And uh, that brings me to the, to uh, wh where this myth got started because uh, you, you do uh, suffer, a lot of people suffer irritation when they uh, run in cold weather. And uh, that's normal. And the reason for that is not because of the cold air striking your, your airway. It's because cold air carries very little moisture. And because of that, your, the cells on your, in, your, in your pharynx and down your, towards your, your, your bronchioles have to, have to really work at supplying moisture to that air. And what happens is, is those cells along your airway get irritated because they get, they get dried out. And uh, that, that's a real phenomenon. That's, that's not a myth. Now, it still has nothing to do with freezing your lungs, but it does say something about um, being careful because uh, there are studies that show that, uh, for instance, elite athletes uh, who do uh, winter sports uh, like biathlon and uh, cross-country skiing, who do a lot of heavy breathing uh, in and out of, of, of very cold air, they have a higher incidence of, um, of asthma and uh, uh, airway irritation uh, problems. And of course, if you have pre-existing conditions, if you have asthma and uh, or if you have any sort of airway or lung disease, you need to be extremely careful about, um, about running in uh, cold air because that, that dry air can uh, not only irritate your airways, but it can actually trigger something called a... And at that precise moment, my battery went dead on my phone, ironically, due to the cold, uh, when I was trying to say the word bronchospasm. A bronchospasm occurs when a bronchiole, those are the small tubes uh, leading to the alveoli in your lungs, uh, contract. And that's because uh, the smooth muscles surrounding those bronchioles tighten. And uh, that's usually combined with uh, irritation inside the lining of those bronchioles. So that can be serious. And it's one of the reasons why, uh, if you're going to run in the cold, you should, again, uh, take precautions. 
Uh, cover up your face. Um, try to breathe through your nose because uh, your sinuses are more efficient at warming air. And also, um, be reasonable. Uh, test it out a bit in the cold and see how you do. And if it doesn't bother you, then try some more and try some more. You probably don't want to do a, a 50k race for the first time in minus 30 conditions. That wouldn't be wise. So, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, it is indeed a myth that uh, cold air can freeze your lungs, but you do still need to be careful when you're running out in the cold. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.